YouTube family, CJ Young here. Hope everybody's doing well. Still rocking the bling, the rings, Grandpa's rings. Listen, I'm going to react to this video. You know, I just want you to see how concerned I am about this dude. You know, I'm not here to make fun of him or laugh at him or be mean to him. But I want you to see, I'm sure nobody has went through and watched all his videos, but I've been doing my research on him, and I'm just going to play his video, and I'm going to give my feedback as we go along with it. So, let's get started. Hey guys, it is uh, your boy, Ursaw Fatty. Just real quick, I want to make a quick video touching base on this. Okay, that was fun enough. I've had to re-record this a couple times. Because <coughs> I've uh, had to run to the bathroom and get sick. But, um... Alright, first of all, if you notice his neck right here, it seems like it, it, it might have, it looks like dirt, but that is really a sign of diabetes. You know, trust me, because I have family members that have it, and... My grandma went blind from it. My other grandma lost a leg from it. And it even killed her. And these are the signs of it. So, you know, that's sign number one that concerns me. Let's go on. Yeah, uh, so someone has posted my phone number somewhere in one of my video comments and... I've already gotten a whole night of cycle calling. I'm just gonna say this, I'm not gonna say to not call. Because, let's just face it, it's not gonna happen. I'd have to change my number for that, and my mother really doesn't want to change the number to this house phone because it's been here since her childhood. That I understand. Keeping your phone number, you know, you don't want to change it because it was, it was her childhood number and you know, you had ever since you lived here. I can understand that. Let's move on. Since they built the house here. So she really doesn't want to lose the family number, but like... I just gotta ask you guys to be polite. Don't be calling at, you know... Just... Between the hours of 9pm, 9am, don't call. That's just a general rule of thumb. You know, that's, that's what I'll say. Between 9am to 9pm, please. And understand that there are times I am dead asleep and cannot be woken up. What? You're dead asleep and can't be woken up? Well, you must be in a deep, deep sleep. I mean, you know, when the phone rings, I, I hear it and I get up. You know, and that, that's not good either if you're dead asleep and cannot be woken up. You know? So try to under. It's good. It's not good. And, and listen, airsoft fatty. Looks like you have a bad case of acid reflux. You know, if you're not careful, you're going to mess your stomach up, and you're going to. It's going to burn your esophagus up. So what I recommend. Go to your local CVS or Walmart and buy a case of Tums. You know, there ain't but two dollars. You know, and it would help with the acid reflux, heartburn, uh, stomach um, acid, you know. It helps with all that, you know. And the doctor can even give you Zantac, Protonix, um, Nexium. You know, you name it, they can help you. Come on now. Please don't. Please understand. Please understand that, um, you know, my mother needs to get hurt. It's just not even about me getting sleep at this point. Because I've gone like three days without sleep before without a problem. It's my mother that needs the rest. She doesn't get one night's rest, she gets sick. Violently sick. So please have some respect. 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Don't, don't call. If I'm in the middle of recording a duel or something, 
um, I'll just say, hey, have them call back in like 10, 15 minutes, let's finish up this duel and stuff. And we'll try to finish up it as quick as possible so I can return your call and at least give you a hi, you know? Like, how are you doing? Like, Fuck. Fuck. I don't know. Come on, man, get you some times. Go to the doctor or something. You'd want to burn your esophagus up. No, oh, uh, how far I'll be able, to, be able to make it to walk today. Um, and it may not be till later on, you know. It may not be for another two, three, maybe even four hours. It's definitely going to be while it's light out, but, like, I want to make sure I'm not going to throw up while doing it, too. <sighs> and if you see my address on here, I'm not going to say my address out loud, but if you see... Also... You know, you know, I try to look presentable when I do a video, you know. I make sure, you know, I went yesterday and got a haircut, you know. I always make sure, try to make sure my hair is somewhat neat before I come on to do a video. Because appearance means something. And, you know, I, I'm clean shaved. I'm a little bit stubbly, but, you know, I can do a video teaching you how to shave, you know. That's no big deal, you know. If you don't know how to shave, I'll be more than glad to put on some shaving cream and show you how to shave, you know, and get cleaned up, you know. I mean, it's not that hard, but, you know, I'm just throwing it out there. I see an address on here that people are claiming are mine. Don't fucking go to it. You never know if it's the actual address. And if you do show up, I'm not gonna lie. That is the one thing I'll be completely pissed at. And I will probably pull one of my airsoft guns off on you and just fool all of you straight up. Let me stop right there. So, if somebody attempts to you has you pull an airsoft gun, that don't make a bit of sense. What's an airsoft gun going to do? It might blow out their eye, make them go blind. But you need a 357 Magnum or a 12 gauge gun. You know, what's an airsoft gun going to do, dude? I mean, come on. You know, airsoft gun, get real. Let's continue. You know, I care a lot about fans and stuff, but like, right now, with the way my house is and stuff, and how much I need to get it fixed, I don't, I don't want people over. Just give me about a year or two to get this place fixed up. You know, you don't, I need to get my fucking roof repaired on one side because it's starting to fucking show signs of damage. I need to fucking, I don't say fuck a lot right now, but try to work with me here. But I gotta get, you know, the basement all cleared up because that's been damaged to hell and back. There's just a lot of stuff I gotta get done here. But I'm not gonna lie though. You show up friendly as hell and being genuinely friendly. Even after I'm sitting there aiming a gun at you? Yeah, after you done shot a whole bunch of BBs at me, you think I want to sit around and talk to you? Hell no. I'll put it down and talk. I'll come outside, we'll talk. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know, um... I guess I could do a lightsaber duel with some people if they come, but... No, I'm not. I'd prefer you guys not... In this day and age, you can't trust people. That's a God's honest truth. Don't let strangers in your house if you do not know them. Do not let strangers on your property if you do not know them. You know? And I understand, you know. He's 21 and still in high school, you know, and... Again, I'm not making fun, but be careful these days. Not to come to my house, just purely because I'm asking you guys to respect that privacy. I don't know, I don't mind the ringing of this every so often, but like, showing up in my house is not cool, okay? He don't mind the ringing of the telephone, he, he's dead asleep, remember? And his mother gets violently sick. It just is not cool.
Oh, oh my. Nope. I'm gonna have to end the video here. I'm about to throw up. Alright, y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Listen, I'm just concerned about this dude. Um, I'm not making fun. Follow me on my social media. Um, I'm just concerned. I hope other people will be concerned too when they see this. And again, I'm just concerned and worried about him. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. Smack that uh, notification bell so when I upload a video, you'll be notified. God bless. And I'll speak to you again soon. But remember, be who you is. Because if you ain't who you is, you ain't who you is. God bless, and I'll see y'all later.